Manchester United nil, Newcastle United nil. We've drawn here today at Old Trafford and it feels very, very frustrating, man. Um, I think it's important to remember where we're at. It's important to remember where we're trying to go. Um, and it's important to remember um, how long it's going to take to get there. I'll start by saying that. I think today was the first reminder in action because we've always known it at the back of our heads of what happens when your absolute strongest team isn't available. Um, and the drop-off in quality um, is there to be seen. Realistically, I'm talking about one player. Really, I'm going to start right where it, right where it hurts, and that's Fred. Um, I think the drop-off in quality from Christian Eriksen to Fred was there to see for all of us in terms of on the ball. Fred does a lot of things that you know are are good. He does he does some things that we need in this team. He works really hard. He's got a great attitude and stuff like that. But when it comes to being on the ball, when it comes to being in the final third, when it comes to finishing chances, when it comes to creating chances, when it comes to keeping the ball, when it comes to manipulating the ball and dictating play. These are all crosses, in my opinion, in, in Fred's game. You know, as a squad player, you would like to say that Fred has a role and the drop off from Christian Eriksen and how we struggled in that area because, because he wasn't there. We really, really felt that today. Um, Newcastle are a good side, you know. This is a Newcastle without um, Alan St. Maximum and without Alexander Isak. So we do have to give credit to them. I know they were, you know, the time wasted and we were getting frustrated, but you know, by and large, they 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 kept us to not many chances. Um, and the second thing I want to talk about is just lack of being clinical, because again, this game could have gone either way. I'm, I thoroughly understand that. You know, the Joe Linton chance, two chances in quick succession, was pretty much all Newcastle had all day, but probably should, should have been a goal for them. But if you look at the chances we had, Fred at the death again. I feel sorry because you just you wanted that chance to drop to anyone but Fred. Um, and he wants to go on his favourite left foot when he should probably go over his right foot, tries to let the ball roll across his body and open out his body, and he misses. And then Marcus Rashford, right at the death, has a great cross from Chris Casemiro. It's, it's basically on a plate. All he has to do is get his neck muscles behind it, get a clean connection, and he misses in the dying, mess, and in the dying moments. And the problem is, is that we're not scoring enough goals right now. We're not clinical enough in front of goals, uh, in front of goal. And I said it. You know, we weren't going to get 30 chances like against Ammonia in midweek. It just wasn't going to happen. So anything we had against this team who have only lost once um, Newcastle, and that was against Liverpool in the dying minutes, so they know how to win football matches or certainly know how to not lose football matches. Anything we had against them, we were going to have to take because there were going to be chances were going to be scarce. And that's exactly the type of game it was. Newcastle came for us as well. They were physical. They were at it. They made it difficult for us. Um, there were moments where we were poor on the ball, quite predictable, quite laboured, but patient at the same time. I will give us that credit. We were patient at the same time. And there are some positives. I, I can't stress enough, right, that I'm so prepared for these type of performances. Um, and I'm not saying that it's OK and we just, you know, we don't critique them and we don't, you know, be upset by them because essentially, yeah, you, I walked out there, felt like a loss. You know, I was fuming that Rashford couldn't score in the last minute, as, as I'm sure he is. And so all of us at home were, all you guys at home were, I was fuming that Fred obviously didn't take his chances. But I also look at it as it's a, it's a process and we don't have, and I hate to keep using that word, but it really is, we don't have that squad depth. You know, how many times have we said, what happens if Martinez gets injured? What happens if, um, if Ericsson gets injured, which has now happened? What happens if Varane gets injured? Okay, Lindelof came in for a couple of games and did okay. Right back, if Dallow gets an injury, we're screwed. So... You, you get that sense with, with us right now that we're one injury away in, in key areas of really, really struggling for quality because there's certain, there's certain non-negotiables in this team. So, for example, Martial's not been fit. We've managed to scrape by and, 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 and get by. Ronaldo's chipped in and, you know, Ten Hag's subs have been coming on and, and making a difference like he nearly did today. Rashford's been chipping in and Sancho, the odd time, and but Tomini does a, does a, you know, last-minute strike against Ammonia. We can get by with certain areas, but there's certain non-negotiables. If Christian Eriksen's not playing, the whole dynamic of the team changes. And we saw that against Real Sociedad at home here. Um, when he came off at half time, uh, you know, we, we literally took all the creativity out. Um, and Fred just, just isn't going to give us that. It's just not a like for like swap. Even if McTominay would have been playing today with his physicality um, and a little bit of confidence off scoring in midweek as well. You know, uh, you could argue that him and him and Fred would have been a better option today, but Fred, Look, you feel it because, look, the, the crowd were getting on top of him. The crowd was starting to ooh and ah every time he took it, every time he took the ball or every time he, he tried to shoot or he made the wrong decision. And it's just going to take time. we just got to remember that we haven't got the squad that we want to have yet. And we have to be patient with that. Could we show more impetus in front of goal? Yes. Can we be more clinical? Yes. 
Are they, are they buying into what Ten Hag's doing? I would say yes. We're, we're definitely more difficult to beat. I'll say we defend better. I thought Luke Shaw was solid. Martinez and Varane were solid defensively. I was critical of Varane in terms of his, his distribution. Some of the times, you know, there's that, there's that left-hand diagonal ball that actually, ironically, Maguire plays it in his sleep. He'll, he'll, he, can, he can fizz it out or loft it over, over the top into an oncoming Luke Shaw, an oncoming Sancho. And Varane tried to hit a few of those and his radar just wasn't there. He just couldn't, he just couldn't find um, Jaden Sancho. That was an issue. And David De Gea's distribution was an issue as well. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's more of a conversation for further down the line with David De Gea's distribution. This, today was his 5 of game and he's, he's been an amazing servant to the club, but there were some frustrations in when us trying to play out from the back, how long it was taking and a little bit of uncertainty from the players. So these are all things that will iron themselves out in time once Ten Hag can build his squad. In one transfer window, we were never going to get the answers to all of these problems and we were never going to be able to be clear of everything and win every game. We know that there's going to be games like this. There's going to be blips along the way. There's going to be some awful performances like we saw against Brentford where we got absolutely smashed like we saw against City. There's going to be some mediocre performances where we just about get by. And there's going to be some average performances like this where it's flat and it's a stalemate. You have to remember, we're not scoring many goals. Leicester, 1-0. Southampton, 1-0. Um, Everton, 2-1. Ammonia, 3-2 and 1-0. We're just scraping by because we're not a free-flowing scoring team. But the positives are, is that we're actually consistently making chances. That's a positive. And another big positive is the fact that we are harder to, to get chances against. I, you know, apart from the Joe Linton double headers, again, Newcastle didn't really have much. But look, it's frustrating. We've got a lot to work on. It's, it's got to come. But clearly, as soon as key players are out, as soon as key players, like I said, in certain non-negotiable positions aren't there, we're going to feel it. If we had an injury to Martinez anytime soon, touch wood, it doesn't happen, our whole back four would change. If we, we've seen what happened today when we have an injury to Chris, or an illness to Christian Eriksen, the whole way we play changes. Even Martial, I mean, people want to say he's not fit, he's not this, sell him and this, that and the other. That's fine, that's a conversation for the summer. But when he's not playing, you can see the front line is different. It isn't the same with Ronaldo there. And that's not to say Ronaldo can't score goals, but clearly Ten Hag showing us with his intentions, even taking Ronaldo off and putting Rashford there, he just doesn't fancy Ronaldo as that pinpoint striker of, at the spearhead of his attack. It's just not what he wants. But he's, but he's making, you know, he's, he's making do with what he's got. So, Jane Sancho, again, tried to, have a, tried to make things happen. Anthony's grown in confidence. That's a positive. He's beating Dan Byrne. He was beating, uh, was it Jacob Murphy, I think it was? Or was it Almiron, one of them? Um, and just giving us a spark, you know, it's, it's, it's slowly growing. So, look, very disappointing. It does feel like a loss, but it's important to remember it isn't a loss. Um, and these frustrating things will happen. We've known for ages that Fred is not the best on the ball. We've known for ages that having Fred in the final third is not the answer. But when you don't have Scott McTominay and you don't have Christian Eriksen available, what, what, what are you going to do? I and mean, some people were saying chuck in Zidane Iqbal. And, but look, you know, to, a young player coming into big pressure situations, you have to make sure they're ready. So I don't, I don't despise that. Um, you know, we had a Langer on the bench, Palestri on the bench, um, a couple of other youngsters on there. You've got uh, Lindelof on the bench, Malassia. So at the end of the day, the game was, was always going to be difficult if we needed to look to the subs bench and we still uh, probably, probably should have won the game. With the two chances we created right near the end in, with Fred and Rashford, they should have scored. But on the flip side, so should have Joe Linton. So a draw is probably the right result, um, but really frustrating. Feels like a loss. And against Spurs, if we give up those sorts of opportunities that we did today to Joe Linton, um, and albeit it was from a set piece, it can be a different game. But can we bounce back against Spurs? Absolutely. Will it be tough against Spurs? Absolutely. We know what's going to happen. They're going to sit back. They're going to play with five at the back um, and, and a tight-knit midfield and a tight uh, front three. And they're going to sit back and camp out and hit us on the break. And we're going to have to show impetus. We're going to have to show intensity. And we're going to have to show that, again, we can bounce back from a setback because that's what this season's going to be about. There's going to be a lot of bumps in the road. I'm prepared for it. I know you guys are. Um, and we've got to dust ourselves down quickly. Man of the match, a bit difficult in a nil-nil where you feel a bit flat. I thought Luke Shaw was steady. I thought he was, short. I thought he was strong. Um, and I think Casemiro, I think Casemiro was quite good as well. He's starting to find his feet. So probably between them two. But other than that, disappointing day at the races and we've got to dust ourselves down very, very quickly for Spurs here on Wednesday night. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.